subscribe, share the video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of uh, Life is Strange True Colors. If you think we did the right decisions with Alex or not, and uh, we're going to continue on from there. Uh, so it's a whole new story. Don't know anything of this story. Play by the strange group one. And we're going to show you the silver cave in there. This is Life is Strange Wave. I don't know anything about this DLC. I don't know how long it is or anything, so it'll be a fun new experience for this book. Steph! Uh, Gingrich? Is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts, lots of live mixing for my band. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. Yeah, totally. Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. Being Gabe? Right. <laughs> well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Right, yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Sorry, maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... Yeah, over a break at least from school, that's back. Uh, do you cool. know, do something cool. Something I can really get into. Like DJing for a cute little station. Be me again. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think I'll love it. Okay, the manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here somewhere. What are you supposed to be? A little bobblehead. A bobblehead. Are you the Haven High mascot? Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. Bet I could get these to stick to the bulletin board from here. What is that? Great. Here's the list. Steph, welcome to your first bit. Sorry, I couldn't be there for you on the basis. Introduce yourself. You can continue to play the audio DJ. Read all ads on air. Ad copy is on the desk. It is very likely that some folks may call in that probably does without saying, but if someone calls, answer the last speaker. Introduce myself on air? Huh. Let's give this a shot. One of these buttons is the mic switch. Need to turn this on first. What's up? 
kind Haven listeners, Steph here. Your new DJ at KRCT, live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, maybe more in the future. We've got some great music coming up for you, so uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Well, I promised great music, so next up, check out the playlist. Something tells me you and I are going to be seeing a lot of each other. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. Auto today's music playlist schedule import music national top 50 a lot new releases a lot settings account updates up to this code. It'll do, I guess. Hello. Sorry, computer DJ. <laughs> it's my turn now. Jason Silver? Fall asleep, home for hopes, talking distance. Here's paint and silver. Yeah. Oh, play. Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. That must be around here too? Okay, yeah. they want me to riff on these bullet points. So I should probably study them a little first. So, the Black Lantern. Talk about the Black Lantern and the authentic atmosphere and a good food. Put the word Colorado.com, putting Coloradians to work since 2002. Key points of this new initiative job portal, license for experts match candidates with positions, used by leading companies in technology and entertainment. Free trial with promo code KRCT. Avalanche ice cream. Due to downtown Haven Springs, the Avalanche ice cream is founded by husband and wife team, Sonny and Angela Avalanche. Please don't call us that. The last name is Andrew. Uh, over 50 flavors, including classics like chocolate vanilla, to add in new flavor experiments like candy corn, sweet molasses, crab or goon. Yeah. I would totally try crab or goon ice cream. Alright, how do I. Great yep. song. That new DJ really has the stuff. Alright, so we're gonna take that. Take that, auto DJ. I now uh, officially listen to sweet tunes for a living. Silver. I just want to make something called Fall Asleep would be a good uh, introduction. Hard to hold a pickaxe without thumbs? Stand back and listen to the sweet radio. Uh, DJ of Silence. You imagine there's some music here. Yeah, get off our uh, couch and this is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Yeesh. Looks like I got here just in time. KRCT to Leslie Cole. Who would make a fan and appreciate the Haven Springs? We've got a full resource such as KRCT. Not every time I can do this on independent radio station, however, your programming is a lot to desire. On Saturday during the well, it's supposed to be classic rock watch, we play Lonesome Ranch three times in a row. Lonesome Ranch is not a classic rock song. It's a 60 year old country western single. Three times 
time for Red or DJ Fosley, please consider bringing in his wife. New York Superman released in the last few years. I may have no clue what I'm doing, but the good news is maybe no one is listening anyway. Wow. You're looking at just 20, less than 30 listeners on average. Oh, yeah, you don't know. That record has seen every day. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors, the Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for... The bearded proprietor. It's bearded proprietor. Prefer your dinner served by a man from the 1800s? Then look no further. And then there's the food. Try the Lantern's... Top-notch burger. Top-notch burger game. Best burgers for 20 miles in any direction. Bar none. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. Oof. I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche Ice Cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is gonna blow your freaking mind. Classic. Even their classics are a step above the rest. Prepare to change the way you think about vanilla. So come on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. Sonny and Angela Anderson, the best neighbors a hungry DJ could ask for. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 using their Job. Super slick job portal. Seriously, I'm not even going to tell you how it works. It's that easy to use. But Steph, you say, I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. And just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. That is every day I think we have to do. Uh, right click leave. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. Death Cambridge, this is your life. She her 24 hours break. I'm joking. Massive door, sleep snake head, now. Magician, gamer, cat, ultra tray, traveler, gauge, trap, right? Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? Yeah. 
and top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. System notification is added to SMS. Notification with Gabe Chan who goes to the chat where Gabe, we have approval of Haven Creek Cool Kids Club by no friends that can get to the board. About five, six weeks out of the game, less of a boys club. Oh, thanks for having me. So, maybe nice. Always down for you. Dude, you're always down for a nature documentary. As soon as I put on grass park, you did. They don't have feathers. We're at a feather cave. Oh god, I'm not supposed to do it. Haha, I'm down for you tonight. When are we doing this? My place, Friday, and I believe it's only fair that we let a new thing with me. What? I didn't agree to that. Too bad my days with you just down. I'm going to get real weird with it. Okay. But like how it's real weird. Mm -hmm. okay. Yo, hey, it's Steph from Drug School Makeup. What up, bud? So I talked to Izzy and we were in for the GA. It'd be good to stop a hundred percent. I saw two in January 6th. Can't wait for you guys to try to see you in Oh, yeah, Izzy hooked me up for a few days. Uh, you don't have any more days, too. So I'm having no, not really. I mean, maybe I'll take you in the game for a little longer than the original set. But not both of you. Folks, man, can I crash with you or not? Yeah, of course. You need to try to get me up. So I think it'd be your job in town if you're interested because you thought the cops have to get your own place. We may be way out of time, though. Try to take the deal, but be there. You know, for me, I don't think I'd bet my future on the outcome of the game that has sucked that much out. Bro, it's not even good. Whatever, we'll go to sleep for a day. But I've had records for that. Oh, uh, fine. I'll go to the energy. Thanks, Gabe. You're the coolest friend a girl could have. Uh, 
I think there was a note for me on the front counter. What? The scariest thing about this book is the menacing overdue notice I get once a year. That's probably gonna be my dinner. Gabe, your girlfriend is too good for you, man. That's how funny you know you You did, don't worry, we talk to the Eleanor knows I kill plants. She willingly sent these to their death. I've had maybe three conversations with Eleanor, and she's already giving me flowers. I can see why Gabe loves her. Steph, best of luck in the new adventure. We're so glad you decided to stick around. Hug. Oh. Oh. Analysis of the sonata form and its relation to musical structure and choice? <laughs> Whoa. Who's the heavyweight thumbing through these bad boys? Oh, oh man, I'm gonna puke. The hell peed on our rug. One day, if you're brave, unselfish, and true, you can be a real guitar. Yeah, this place definitely needs an update. Treat yourself this Valentine's Day. Call Fred Snow Removal. What the hell? No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package? <laughs> well played, Mikey. I mean, who am I kidding? I totally would have gone to this tour. All my old GM stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Heck yeah, D D. Mikey really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. My old notebook. Dad must have dug it up in my room and given it to Mikey. Need the froth and foam, the perfect city movies. I'm making a big at my DD dice. You ready? It would be really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Fuck yeah, I am. Oh my god, this takes me back. Warning to see further with his own character death by sending I can read that. Elmaine Wildbreaker, now Wizard of Fourteen, by Elmaine Wizard of the Third Circle, and Honorable Elijah the King, Nigeria, has felt a hollow magic in the child, was born to the peasant of the village of Otto Gray, and Elmaine played his ability to use in the fear of being outcast by a village of Otto Gray. The young man, Elmaine grew in boldness, finally able to Autumn Grace to seek the description of the legendary Hall of Circles. Now he travels the world in such knowledge to country and his madman and his goal. Ability to communicate and move objects out of the prediction. Just as such, uh, he grails acid glass, though held cataclysm, cone of fire, and gives an army fire strike. Beneath 
froth and foam. The villagers are afraid they'll cheat, no, cheat any better than anyone else. On the widow tree, how to catch a stubborn herring with a hook and line and a cape and a stubborn herring over fire. Life was simple there, a little snow, or a little slow, hardly dangerous. Till children started to disappear. Start with the brewmaster's sons and the smith's daughter, then the hunter's nephew, then more after. All went out to the monster hunter's guild, but not too many folks make it all the way after a crindle tea. A good hearted crindle man, when Captain Dennis Salt sailed for the port of Rye himself, set forth a fleet to go master. It was then the last call was heard, would it be enough? Eternal prisoner, this is all with Mark Dow. No one can say he's up a spell on Ash. Ash too for us, or how long it's fit, or what manner of spell. Man of stones, only a man lives to spell alone. Prison for well over 600 years. He doesn't remember his name. Too similar to Black Hawk. Oh my goodness. Jesus. That's horrible. Perfect city. No CD even trail compared to the bustling streets and dazzling fires of New Eden. There's not just wealth and artistry or the safe around the side here. Even walls, no, it's so absent from everyday eating. Disease, hunger, death, and citizens of new eating create perfect families, live perfect lives. Anyone you see over a desperate to afford the lunches, but they even sit alone in all great perfection. But perfection comes at a cost, rubies and fire. The local daughter, the locals call it daughter flame, but the mountain had an older name. Furnace, sneak, fence, and rock, and it's the athletic, wrinkled bookkeeper, proudest elder thorn, which stretched. Cast the clouds and fill the sky with endless bells of soot. It also brought many travelers to its base, seeking legendary treasures aside. The goat king, Ozus, built the vault in forgotten days, and left here his undying sons to guard it. No one can remove a single coin, jewel, or crown from the hoard. No one, that is, at least, to die laughing. The royal gesture, Thomas Popsky. There's not a funny man in life, but in death. Nah, this is too dumb. Dumb things are fun. Though. Going with the mysterious metropolis. New Eden. Now all I need is five million NPCs. Super easy if you use an auto generator. Mikey still got it. Elamon though has seen better days. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. French cuisine and you learn to shred on the guitar in 60 days. Mastering your email? Chapter 1. Turning your computer on. Didn't understand. You just suck at feeling things. I need to know who's mass producing these mountain paintings for every store in Haven. Sheet music too? This store can't make up its mind. Not the owner's favorite musical, I take it. <laughs> Not the owner's favorite musical, I take it. Oof. We need to get this sucker filled up. I had this melody in my head all night. But mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Mostly. Local punk favorite drug short makeup return. Season. Hard thing living is too key to explain current issues in person. If you lose one person, that's half the thing. Citizens of Seattle's punk venue you may wonder what happened to the dress and such, but black lipstick drug store makeup after months of silence, following the night such a learned thing, they can use full count. Together, fresh talent. Our drummer is a punk rock grenade. Kick out the new game and drink. I can see that, wow. From Steph to George Gingrich. Hello oh, there, you under dad, I don't know if it's even more grounded than undead nun. They are literally buried in the ground. Do you try shadows of whiskey yet? Got all the clown oil and love of the party. Well, no, I love them. She asked, did you try making each other more like a trailer, TPS, and a dead health yet? Because there's always some luck. Then her dad, hello, Steph. Davis Weeks, so how is it out there in big Colorado hunting any good wild elk yet? 
and bang, but headline big new punch and two back in the last moment happened for the trailer to fail because they put up more like a trailer. Got a boss. Tired of watching the shows be recommended, but I can't get past these undead now. Yeah, anything else a little bit more great. One day, bad clip art is gonna make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. If I emptied all these out, I could make a wicked fucking board, but I'm not doing that right now. Feel like I'd get along with this woman. Hello, Miss Gingrich. Welcome to the store, Lord. And I'm going to express faith. The name is Casper Zabowski. I'm the old bad and I can come and call her Springs. The Mr. Crater is a very near to my heart. I mean, you do the incredible place. I do lean in and it's really a creature kind. Please, better decor, better music, thick thin cover in the back than falling off the so, if I read that right, Kasha's basically giving me carte blanche. I can work with that. I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. As for music, I can at least start by updating the new releases. And, yep, there's the vent. Might as well take a look. Those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Oh, it just needs some screws. Oh my god, that animal's living in the walls. Hey, you in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom, so consider yourself warned. Is that how you get this record store cat? Shit, that's coming from inside the booth. My first call. That's the phone. Hello? You're on KRCT Radio, and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Hold up. Hmm. Depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Follow? Uh, no. Could I just give you my order, and you can just, like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? Sweet. Alright, uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls, Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster, Hmm. Interesting choices. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these for? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Okay. Look. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah, you lost me there. <sighs> Alright dude, listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever lady, screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. <laughs> Fine. 
that's something else. We need to find some punk music to put it into the lineup or something. Unicorn hunters. Breaking up the wrong tree, I'm afraid. Sorry, who's me? This is very interesting. Why am I bringing up this? I'm going to get the bird. I'm going to get the bird. Mikey. I'm going to be shaking up the playlist a bit here at KRCT. So get your ears ready for some fresh tunes and keep it here. How do I... You already got this set up. This is Haven's number one. I may have no clue what I'm doing, but the good news is maybe no one is listening anyway. This is actually pretty sick. I guess upgrading from humming to actual music is a good next step. Okay, so what instrument should I play this thing on? Yeah, I bet it'll sound cool as a synth loop. One day, bad clip art is gonna make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. Hmm. One of these might work. That's promising. Cool. Why, yes, I did put up a poster of cute girls flexing. 
Let's not all act surprised at once. When's the last time someone even used this? These new releases are like two years old. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? Seventies, nineties, or nineties. It's throwback time. KRCT, Death here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? Yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. Well, the shit, let's go with that. It was obvious. Yeah. You know what? For the sake of filling some airtime, sure. I'm a psychic. I foretell shit. That's so cool. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU, but then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Okay, just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? All right. What am I going to tell this girl? 18, huh? That's a strong roll. So, what's my prediction? Okay. I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yeah. So, you and Tara had a good run. Oh, no. You said UC was your dream school, and dreams are about embracing the unknown. After just a few weeks, you develop an interest in... Improv comedy. Improv comedy. Really? Sure. <laughs> The kind of girl who calls into a radio show while her ex-boyfriend is still sobbing in the background definitely understands comedy. I am really good at talking fast without thinking. And that's where you meet your new best friend. She connects with the new you, the one filled with passion and untapped potential. Weirdly, her name is also Tara. Then I don't have to switch my bracelet. All right, that's all I got. I uh, hope it helped. I'm not sure, but it was really fun. Thanks, Steph. Oh, my goodness. I'd rather the silence.
eventually I'll need to get back in the booth. We just left. There's gotta be some 90s child out there looking for a nostalgia fix. This year's Spring Festival is right around the corner. So, uh, see Eleanor at the flower shop for volunteer opportunities. And she's already done her. I'll just finish up whatever I want to do and then call Gabe. Oh my god, oh my god. Am I caller number 12? Dude, this job you got me? It's great? Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously. And I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one? Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Uh, you know you're on the air, right? That makes it even better. situations like these with put to work colorado.com elevate your job prospects today Rough first day We've got one more day to celebrate pride. One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me answering your calls in just a few minutes. Sorry that that was so loud. I Too damn hot to be. Don't know why they haven't set up like that. Talking. Alright, the heat's no excuse. Better take the, the phone. Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh, okay. What happened? Uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk, but 
my boy Grady sat me down yesterday and he, I guess the term you'd use is, he came out to me and I could have handled it a lot better than I did. Shouldn't you talk to Grady about this? What does that mean? What does that mean? What yeah, does that get mean? more information. You could have handled it better? I didn't yell at him or anything. I just shut down. I didn't know what to say. Oof. That must have been rough for poor Grady. Anyway, he loves your show. Listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf. Just so he knows I hear him. And I love him. You're a good dad. Hey, everybody screws up sometimes, man. I'm proud of you for trying to make it better. That's very kind of you. Just maybe try to be on board from now on. Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Grady played it for me right before he tried to talk to me. He said it was meaningful to him. All right. Let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. I just so kind. Hello, folks. I'm rocking around with that. What is why I pulled that one? It's not possible to start for all. Rocking around with that. Hello, this happened. We're on a few little papers. I think I think one of three did an ad for a radio drama when I was a full story. You can just make that laugh. The Aiden Haven, the Aiden Haven. F. Lee, for yourself, I mentioned the flavor selection and our ongoing. KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's been a brutally hot summer, so visit the Lantern and escape the heat with... New, pop. New Popsicles. The kiddos can stain their tongues purple while you enjoy a round of darts and a cold one. And if that's not enough to get you in the door... The upcoming 4th of July pool tournament will. All are welcome to come, play, and lose money to Ducky. Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. Dang, I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. And having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. Scary stuff. That's some scary stuff. I've seen grown men cry over less. Right? And I'm just a teenager, so I'm quaking in my combat boots. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah. So, if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. I will consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. Uh, no. Sure. Who said playing games won't get you anywhere? Oof. Three? That's, That's almost a really not balance. great. All right. Moment of truth. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but I don't want to get her hopes up either. I mean, the D20 predicts disaster. Dinner goes up and I'm smoke. getting an image of this family dinner. Okay. I'm seeing your family dinner go up in smoke. Crap, really? Literally, in fact. 
the meal gets burnt, smoking heavily and setting off your smoke alarms. Not to be defeated, your parents... Order... Go for ice cream. Decide yeah, to go happens. for ice cream. The evening takes a turn for the casual. And as the four of you stroll downtown Haven, a weight lifts from your shoulders. I like... actually feel more relaxed now. You can even still taste the butter pecan on your girlfriend's lips when you kiss her goodnight. <laughs> Holy crap, am I actually excited for this now? That's the spirit. Thanks for your call. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it the Dateless Dating Advisor. <sighs> All right, so let's turn on that pop. You liking today's show? Local micro celebrity declared cool as hell. Very attractive. Hey, RCP, an independent radio station operated out of the Rocky Mountain Record Traders and CB Haven Springs for the receiving unexpected food from listening. Thanks for the addition of the self styled radio sidekick, Jeff Gingrich. Founded in 1994, the station struggled to bring in new listeners for years. But Gingrich just said she is coming with a radio procrastination on a total whim has changed that. People like it when you tell them to play in the fantasy a little, so Gingrich. KRCP listen retention rates are up 20% since the DJ Alright. I know it's not yeah. that much, but I have the memory of a goldfish. Who said playing games won't get you anywhere? Wait a minute. And now, a message from our sponsors. Go for radio. Your friends at Avalanche Ice Cream would like... Wait. What is that? What is that? Stay with me here, guys. I'll try to describe what I'm seeing. I think a UFO just landed outside the record store. Okay, there's a door. It's opening. The aliens are coming out. Two of them. They're heading into Avalanche now. Wait, what's this? It is. The lactose. They love ice cream. The aliens love the ice cream. One appears to be raving over the new cookie mobster cone, and the other is enraptured by a scoop of pigs in mud. The aliens are getting back on their ship. They're taking off. <laughs> Woo! That was tense. I sure am glad Avalanche Ice Cream was here to save the day. Why not stop in and show them your appreciation? That read the last ad. Hey. Time for a traffic update. You live in Haven. There is no traffic. This has been your traffic update. Nothing says high quality radio content like an obnoxious sound effects board. I bet I could use this on air. Let's take a quick ad break, kind Haven listeners. Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RMG's reporters are so local. They're in your apartment. That they're in your apartment? Right behind you. Right now. Eating your snacks. And as locals, these reporters... See everything. see everything. They see that graffiti too. And they cover it. They see those potholes too. And they'll cover it. And that unsolicited dick pic you just sent? Yeah. They saw that too. If you want world class, fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard. The Rocky Mountain Gazette. You're on with Steph. What can I tell you? 
Yeah, hey, thanks for taking my call. So I'll cut to the chase. I have the world's worst roommate. Need to see the seat, Sergeant Brenta. Are you ready to back it up? I'm afraid so. Everything he does is loud. His music, his phone calls, he even keeps the little click noises on when he texts, which is every second. And the smells. I think he thinks that the vape masks the fact that he doesn't shower or clean anything, but it's just like strawberry B.O. Ugh, okay. I get the picture. So, why are you calling? So, I've been planning to have, like, a house meeting, lay out all the cards, see if there's a way to make this work. And you want to know how it plays out. You are the psychic. Okay, give me a sec. I have to roll that D20. A five's pretty bad. Home not feeling like home. That's a rough one. So, can a house meeting really turn it around? Potentially. D20 didn't have high hopes. I have seen into the blurry future. And? You have your house meeting? It doesn't help. He makes a big show of putting away, like, one dish. Then he's right back to the way he was. Really? There's just nothing I can do? Well, you find ways to cope. Small. You play small pranks on him. Leaving fake parking tickets on his windshield, swapping his pudding with mayonnaise. Oh. Your favorite is setting his phone's autocorrect to replace hey with send nudes. Wait, let me grab a pen. I want to take notes. It's a little petty for sure, and it doesn't really solve your problems, but it is fun. Not gonna lie, this wasn't the answer I was hoping for. Sorry, bro. I am but a vessel for the fates and yada yada. Thanks for the call. That was the way. Alright, let's use the self. She heard Jason Colorado. Do we have an inner tagline yet? Sure. Pickle. Look to me with bad hair work. Sure. How was Minister Colorado man out of mind? Sure. Fiona, I feel for you if you can't continue. There you go, the gamer right there. Oops, like, Sally, I just gave him up to the game, sure. Not long for the assignment, sure. I'm told I smell like a new book, sure. Bike trash for bike trash. Hit me up if you have. <laughs> Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one. Alright. You've got Fiona. Uh, hmm. What kind of opener do I want to use? In the sword. Not gonna lie, the buff of swords turn shit for me if I have a lie, you're a rare pressure sleeping. You're not the first person to tell me that. Sean and I think you play TPRPG. Mostly fiction. I used to really make Kingdom of the Cavern, good old fashioned. I'll put it in something like a classic series and bingo, but used to. It's been a minute since I played. Ah, oh, bummer. Like, can you ever get back into it? Maybe. Well, hey, if you ever need to play with me, I'm a girl. I got, um, I didn't want to 
Not that I don't make it pretty, I do. I just mean I was that time like Hello. What this uh sorry. Oh well yeah, that was poor. Haven cool. okay, Springs, China and the Bird is not popular like you only eleven hundred. How do you know about Haven Springs? More than I do. It's all the internet. Sorry, habit of mine, I go down rapidly. How many open browsers have? So without checking, you know if there are more than 10 open browsers have a guy called out, it's probably more like 50. Do you hate that? I know it's weird. Nope, it's weird is good, if anything. It's not weird, it's still very convenient. Oh, okay, what do you mean? That's not even a fourth film, it's mighty weird. Okay, so back to the spring. Have you thought about moving to Denver now? It's very big, or gonna, but. Lost. Uh, what? No joke, I lost the bath of Buddy Gabe, but I literally don't know how to respond to that. You at least come visit, you think? Absolutely, Denver isn't perfect, you think? We have a good time, and I'm excited to meet you. Who's the Haven? The Craven to the Haven. That sounds kind of fun, actually. Oh shit, it's that I'm sort of in a play right now. We open this weekend and lunch are next to be a little busy for a while. Hey, that's sick. Break away. GG, thank you. Well, then I'll come to the Denver. Really don't mind now. Uh, Let me get that round so it's back. Okay. Right. Do I want to kick things off or leave it to them? Yeah. Alright. What's the best approach? Use a pickup line. Those are always the best. That's what I use on my way, way back in the day. Let me brace for some impact hit me because you have fine rent on your feet. Well, are you a spoiled bag of chicken feet? Matter of fact, I am. I mean, I'm a little pissed about it, but yeah, I think I'm pretty, pretty much like my own the I way out. Because you have an impeccable face, get it? Like, unable to be fat. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess. That's about for me. From my experience, everyone has at least one movie, and you never get tired of watching one. Have you ever seen Bio Pistol Godbuster? Okay, huge sci fi nerd myself. I would watch something called like that just to see it. Nope, sounds like an animal. Dude, it came out in like 1992. No, but it's anime. That was awful, crazy story, but I saw it when I was like maybe 13. Now I find it kind of funny. Aw, oh, crap, bone crap is up. Ask them out. Uh, maybe. I'm way. I am swamped for the next one. Hit you up with. Good. Here. Ryan, Charlotte, Gabe. Okay. Hello, this is Ryan, Lucas. Hello, this is Seth, Ginger. Haha, now we have each other in. Glad you're part of the game. Nice to tell that they're my third wheeling and with Gabe and Charlotte. Or we're both third wheeling and Gabe and Charlotte. Yeah. Finally, there's another word for third. Alright, let's see. 
how you feel. I don't want to say how well, long you have been to clean, but it's only been a month I survived. So tell you how you are, I'll tell you how you are. In the meantime, if you need a drink, somebody can pass the time, I can provide that for you. Uh, you're here. I better say it's thick with the poison. Wine, red, cheap, but not too cheap. I grow with my own heart. Okay. All right. You have talked a lot. Yes, it was 90 degrees yesterday. Colorado is 80. I did it. Give it 24 hours. So wait, I'll explain the machine for it. Yeah, dude, the movie makes no sense. Hello, oh, I mean, true, but what's dope about it? No, but like the dude, like, he feeds the babies in the kids. Why? He spent the whole movie trying to protect the damn babies. I don't know, dude, like a metaphor. For what? It's like one of those that's tonal. It's about letting go of any TV to define yourself. That sucks, bro. Uh, Hello. So, do you like normal movies? Not really. Wow, they talk a lot. But, alright. Oh, well, they're just called it the Google. That's not what it said on the Google. Okay, but you're going to text every time Jed has a dream or not. Fair enough, you deserve it. Oh, well, let me just pop on the old Google there. That's my special accent. No, no dad's a loyal captain. It's just luxury pomade. Is that real? There's no way. It's real Google. Sorry, the Google. Uh, uh, what the hell? This is natural. Okay, so wait, I'm moving. I mean, you gave me, so. Shut up, man. This guy just popped into my commission for a bot. Uh oh. Wait, why? Uh oh. Trust me, this boy's gonna want me. Uh oh. Okay. He's like, I want a portrait done of me and my wife. I'm like, of course, and provide me a picture of you two. He's like, oh no, I'm not married yet. So I'm like, that's fine, send me a picture of you and your fiance. He's like, I don't have a fiance. And now I'm starting to get like five. Uh, all of you. And he's like, but I know my future wife will look like. And I saw her and he's like, no. Okay, okay but he gets weirder. And he's like, I think 50 bucks is a fair price to tell him no. Sorry, but a full color portrait is a 200. I got a few of them. And the dude says, oh no, I know 50 is a fair price for you to pay me for letting you know about my vision for the future. Uh, East Char, that's loud. Call it. Fucking call it. I feel like it's going to be. So, you gonna pay him the 50 bucks you owe him, or? Alright, just one answer. Desperate to know what comes next in life? Give me a call here at KRCT, and I will tell you your future. Certainly not included may cause side effects such as boosted confidence, which can be fatal in rare cases. Yes, you did. Hey, girls. Girl, girl in red. The moment you put on this. Okay. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, I heard you talking about Pride the other day, and you sort of convinced me to go next week. Sound effects, shoot. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. I've been, like, out for a while, but I've never actually had a boyfriend. I figured if I'm ever gonna meet one, Pride would be the place. You're going to Pride to find a boyfriend? Does it work out? Hmm. Give me just a sec. We will see. Fourteen. Not bad. Going to his first pride looking for love. How do I help this kid manage his expectations? He did have a decent role. Meet someone. Meet somebody Ready to hear your Give future. Him <laughs> As I'll ever be. Your first pride is truly a thing to behold. There's music, celebration, literal gay frolicking. It's enough to sweep you up and spin you around. And that's when you bump into him. Hey, 
turtles or for a second you just stand there reeling because this guy is a hundred percent certified adorkable hipster glasses dopey dimples and a cute self-deprecating opening line that's totally suave at the same time oh my god he shows you around the festival taking you to booths introducing you to his friends and showing you what pride is really all about finding your people oh man i'm hyped this is gonna be awesome have fun and stay safe thanks for calling in all right um gonna put a backup record on let's do that check on the store Time to deliver good music from the storage room to the masses. I'll catch up with you eventually, Jen. Anyway, I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Tally. Man, that game was something else. Yeah, you play it. I'll do it. I'm sure you beat this. Following is loud audio. Continue. It requires quick, quick reflexes. You're getting better. I, those. I might have to actually try this time. Try all you want. This is my game. Pride cometh before a fall, Stephanie. Whatever you do, don't think about Jed in a diaper. Ugh, dude. I said not to think about it. Goo goo gaga stuff. Let me hey, pour you a glass of my top shelf formula. I'm not listening. <laughs> wow, Steph. Where'd you go, damn it? I haven't developed object permanence yet. So, how's the fake psychic gig? Oh, damn. What happened, Gabe? I thought you were going to try this time. My hands were sweaty. It's the poor craftsman who blames his tool. My first victory on the board. Not gonna make a big deal. Don't want to jinx it. Watch out, Gabe. I'm coming for the throne. Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. If Ducky doesn't pick up his Bobby Darren album, I'm sacrificing it to the big band gods. Have I not unpacked my drums because I still feel guilty about leaving the band? Or am I just lazy? Sex, drugs, and original pressings. I've always wanted to learn the drums, the bagpipes. If Summer were a person, she would for sure listen to reggae. And I would for sure have a crush on her. Huh. Chef Betty's senior cooking class is getting popular. Better sound quality, but still a hard-ass chair. Wish I'd not the most effective cooling system. But in this heat... I'll take anything been getting a lot of folks saying good for you about these but not all this labeling is giving me flashbacks to the thankless world of high school stage managing been getting a lot of folks saying good for you about these but not so many takers i thought cats were supposed to be low maintenance snack time for kids if you want to get your female friend a treat learn on a crush your first time owner Tom is sake of trying to feed your cat in terms of food. Try placing kitty food or treats in a quiet, low traffic area where they'll feel safe. 
Maybe a handful of bees could lure the cat out of the walls. Where is a good spot to put these? So. Could drop a few treats there. Cats love windowsills, right? Or maybe over there? It's a nice quiet spot. I did in the corner. Consider it a peace offering. Yum yum. Actual Haven teenagers buying signed copies of Baynor is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. Let's see. Here. Oh. Figuring out what should and should not go in this section is the most the last thing I've got to do today is pack up all the pride decorations. Get a reason. A week after we started the campaign, Mikey printed this new Elmon and sent him to me. And it rules. The great and noble Elamon has been through many hardships. He's lost multiple limbs, died and come back to life who knows how many times. Twelve. But through it all, Elamon has always counted on one thing. Friendship. The love and care of a cherished friend. Wait, what? I mean, that's nice, Steph, but you know Elamon fights alone. Always has, always will. I'm talking about your sword. Oh, carry on. Been working on some villains for this campaign. I may be biased, but they're fucking awesome. Oh, I got it. So, Dragon Emperor, Grieve and Rush, Wood of Sky and Bone, Dragon Rush, Ruled the Forest Wild, with Wings of Fury, Make Me Nose, and Dragon Man. Yeah. Child Force, a new world community named the Old Run, Spot of the Curse, or Whispering Fear, or Yell the Magnet, their ability to change the game is not terrible, but we can hear a spot and foul against Old Run, regardless of Tommy Q is a great fighter, Howling, with a thousand maws, oak hunters, a black stag of fire, hunters. But in Kira, Oberon shows a more benign shape, that of a child. Cloud and silver road, wielding the magical staff upon him. He began his domination anew, gathering his strength from behind the top of her hand. Yes, the ball might work. Jurgon, the next world war. Jurgon, born, breaker of the sword, and trampler of Breach, joined the horde of the Pell Bishop of the Olenai to catch him back. He rose through the ring, thanks to his proudness and battle for him. Eventually, he betrayed the Pell Bishop and his followers with Ursula's Horde. The new realm of Jurgon's really serious and monstrous. The new world of Trek North Coastman left no snow unraised, and the evil Matricia of Healers, as they did their work, and after hearing crime, the eyes of this agreement. But what Drugon wanted most of all was a worthy challenge, and in Elmon, he saw potential, and lost to each other. The Storm Lord could be mad, out, innocent, self as a fool. The once renowned chief engineer could flee into style from the Sky Council with the fury of insult. They could not see that Gilead could explain the devious background. His flee was a great engineer of the Council had known in generations. His work was harnessed throughout the Griffin Group. To better the lives of its inhabitants, the sun bowl, the extra wings, the list them on. But when he proposed cowling the entire race through seven lifetimes, like the last thing we by planet, that was barely inhabited, and then the was reached. This makes me want to play my old D&D characters. I had rolled up a Minotaur, and my Minotaur was at a little map of the level one Minotaur Paladin. It's a backstory that being a Minotaur mage, and then hated uh, dwarves, and you know they're in a siege fire. This uh, Minotaur, he worshipped the deity, the Minotaur worship, to get Minotaur right off the bat. But within that, uh, the deity is evil, so he's an evil paladin, you know, following his oath. And anywhere he'd go, and even when he's slain, he'd collect her skull. 
when he was visiting a peaceful town, he would leave messages in the skull for his Minotaur brethren to know where to attack weaknesses in the town and stuff, and he did it in secret so the rest of the party wouldn't know. It was a great, great character, great plan, great backstory. Sadly, the DM ended up having to back out, but it was something I had really planned out, thought out, I thought it was going to be great, because uh, our DM, originally we were going to have a very holy based party. There was going to be two clerics, two paladins, a priest, uh, I think it was a bard. That was going to be our uh, playthrough, and like most of everything was pure good, and then I was the one outlier, because I had a minotaur they went up with humans and elves and stuff, but the campaign never got to go to fruition. I loved designing the character, doing the backstory. One day, maybe I'll get to play it. He rolled out spec for 5e, and I never had a chance to really get in depth with them. It, it makes me sad because I had such plans for it. And being a former dungeon master myself for Wizards, I like I went through every single 5e book, and I found out everything I could to make it as spec and great to play and to be a backbone of a party as much as the DM needed. So I wanted it to be a fun character, and if the DM ever needed to throw in something weird, he could use my character, and we'd go through it together. Because I was going to be the backup DM for the campaign. And when he fully fell through, the rest of our party did too. But if I ever get to play, I have this character in the back hand. And it has a great backstory, which I can only really share with the DM. But it goes even further about how much he hates magic users as a paladin. And it incites him into an uncontrollable rage. But he has captured a fairy. And uh, the fairy wizard. And that fairy wizard's name is Navi, and it drives him crazy, but he keeps it in a bottle as a backup, uh, you know, player or character as needed for the campaign. But it, what's funny is the little fairy drives the paladin crazy, and it, like, incites rage into him. So it's just something fun I had designed and I had planned to do. Because at first we didn't have any magic users, we only got some clerics and groups and priests. But, never got a chance. Look at the art. Just set it in a mega city filled with millions of people, she said. How hard could that be? They call it New Eden. The greatest, most prosperous, most peaceful city in all the realms. What's wrong with it? Absolutely nothing. For in New Eden, crime is but a memory. Disease hey. is but a myth. Pain... Yeah, there's something seriously messed up with this place. So you see, Traveler, that these preposterous accusations you received are simply... Well, preposterous. You mean the part about a dark spirit in an invisible tower? Or the part about placating it through a ritualistic human sacrifice? Both. All of it. I'm sorry you have wasted so much time and effort in coming here, Traveler. No, I don't suspect that I have. Your mayorship. This campaign has been, dare I say, epic so far. I'm so glad Mikey got us playing again. To repair, Mikey's drawing skills have gone from rad to ridiculous since high school. It takes a lot of work to keep one step ahead of Elamon. Drummer with the beam. He refers to the inspiration my sense of player is obviously good at guessing where I've hit a mimic chest, toss, cabin, and slept around. You just, you always know. Let me hear your best mimic crap in your own. This is a one bias, okay? I have mimic in the last treasure chest in my campaign. The literal last chest they found after the mission to take back. I'm dead out from there trying to poison the real plane in the screen. That's why I had it. Needless to say, the party was pissed. Oh, wow, but they never saw it coming. That is hilarious. I never thought about it. Uh, Walking Shadow. 
Last year I made a quest with an NPC, it turned out to be a mimic. The tech split open and a bunch of keys and everything. Probably broke a ton of lore when bros worth it. Mimics are lame. Use a cursed mirror, send it into the shadow realm. So sad. <laughs> Finally got my feral friend on tape. Told you. That's not. Wait, wait. There, see? Not a raccoon. I could listen to that melody I've been tinkering with. Good Not bad, kind of sparse, but I dig it. Still feel like it's missing something though. Keep working on it, you'll get there. Lauren made our intro and outro, and she did a great job. Hmm. Guess it needs a hook. But what kind? Maybe like a really anthemic hook. Something that makes you feel like you're putting your fist in the air. Heck yeah, can't go wrong with that. Hasn't been a lot of interest in sheet music. Honestly, if this is as bad as Cautious seems to think it is, I'm dying to hear it. When you're competing with the entire internet, you need to get aggressive. Fewer, yes, but so many remain. Drew this with Ethan. That kid is surprisingly fun. Hmm. No reason the story has to end here. Should I draw something else? Necromancer. Let's give these kids Love something worth running from. <laughs> Nailed it. Say what you will about the 80s. Synth space was a gift to humanity. Okay. It was genuinely my pleasure. Here, Steph, thank you so much for helping us all in time. Really happy to have that guy. Really good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Figuring out what should and should not go in this section is the most riveting part. It took me way too long to notice this. Haven't been in there much. It's such a mess. Oh, it is. A storage room of glory. So much fun stuff. Sweet. Board of treasure. Maybe it's time for a little record store archaeology. That must have been some party. Sobeys music is now rocking out with the trailer. Jazz, rock, rhythm, blues, folk, and just a kind of rhythm. Oh, wow. Cradle Snack. I think my dad had their record. Kasha ran this place for a long time. 2004. Oh, man. Better leave that here, or I'll be shaking it on the radio until I get fired. <laughs> oh, good. I was afraid we were going to run out of boxes. <laughs> I bet I you've seen it. your fair share of bad haircuts. Haven't you? That's not even close to enough stickers. Free them! 
Oh. Mice? Okay, mystery wall cat. Time. Great. That guy's request is locked in here. And instead of a combo, I have four drawings. We are future day. We had to change the lock combo for pathway winner dash Irish cream all over the road. We have the thing. Ghost star eyes cream. Path to Ashley, blue path to Captain Dan. Well, those drawings were meant to be a hint. Guess I should look around the store. Like ghosts to me. The battle in these great movements. Rob. Great game. Man, that guitar's seen some shit. Those shades are undeniably star shaped. When I say Jim. So Oh, you can take this. Could yeah. be useful. I take this one? Okay. Grabbing this for reference. I hate that I actually find this funny. This is really turning into something. Yeah. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Taking this to look at later. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Borrowing this for a minute. That's all four records. Watch your back, combo lock. Sick GTO. They found all five. So, something hidden in these is supposed to get me in there. Better get code cracking. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Hmm. Those sh those look like ghosts. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, I. Let's pop this Three, bad four, boy open. Two, five. Maybe? Oh, I can barely see this. Lunch. Taking a guess based off like that. Things that I've seen. Damn. That wasn't it. Uh, 
now. Back and look at these. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Ice cream cone. Let's pop this bad boy open. Just go up. I... Maybe it's one ice cream. Guess that wasn't it either. Not an ice cream cone. I hmm. Those shades are un. Those look like ghosts. I spy with my little eye. I think it's four two five. five I um, don't know what this would be. Eyes. I think the four two five. I don't know what this would be. Let's pop this bad boy open. Shit. Maybe I should take another look at those records. not an ice cream cone. I've been very confused my whole life. Hmm. Those shades are undeniably stark. Those look like ghosts to me. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Hmm. Let me think. Okay, I don't like to look at the notes. Because we grabbed the record, but we don't have the record. Let's in pop the this bad boy open. There are two ghosts. There are four stars. There are five eyes. There are three ice cream dots. Finally. I can destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Oh, awesome. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. I can finally get back in the booth and play this record, if anyone still cares.
remember today is the last day of pride month i want to give a massive thanks to everyone who supported me and the whole community you guys rock At a place in time, huh? Got to relearn it. I feel like it's off. She's too fun, buddy. Yes, I'm doing that again. Doing what's right. Well, what do you do and how can you find yourself in? Uh, developing an unreasonable, powerful presence, and so on, some minutes and minutes. And literally all the time. I guess it's only fair to give you a heads up. You're not the first person to do this. So thank you. Again, hang on for the absence of getting some of the honor. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 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 Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Continue. Aren't super intense pressures kind of point at? You sure? I don't want to scare you off. Fresh way, party A, consent, fresh on, degree, party B, beans are for the right. What's skin for private? I don't know. We're going to say I missed it. How is this fun? But hey, not fun. That's not ready to get there. I don't know, I just think you're going to make an obvious step, but I'm going to go to the gate. I will. I mean, you know, pride is pride. The parts that rule the world, the parts that suck, the suck. What's fun about the sucking in the room? Usually, you know, overpriced beer, sunglasses, no usual car company signs, cleaning the show that he was like. Thanks, uh, that they do something like that. I don't know. Oh, she's awake. Super cool game, though. You look at you look at that. Yeah, it's a good thing. Back her up. You know what? Fuck you. You know what I'm talking to? I'm fine with this, yeah. They like their shirt. You don't mind. I like your own. The inhibitors and laces are only gay. Bad and bad and gay. Why not? My baby. They could come with her. You know, the military is a fucking fight. I don't like driving specifically. Well, you should tell you to this thing with the right there. Then you should. Are you actually got one person? I don't know if you can. Yeah. Josh is there. Are you going to plan to do anything with her? How are you going to do that? I weaned my job. Good for her. Good for her. For example, I'm driving. I'm only going to catch her signing up for the test. You have to do yourself. You have to pay away saying you're like a free spirit. A oh, free spirit is a self hydrating way of saying you're a disaster. Hello. Let's lift the snake. Ah, uh, isn't 
Bali guy was charging in front of the snake, and it was a pretty snake. So. No argument for me. Her name was Demi, like Demi Moore. Aw. Yeah, I've got to run and have a hair appointment in like 20 minutes. You want to meet up? We split and grab coffee. Normally, I'd love to, but kind of. I uh, use this app to meet folks right now. I'm just trying to get reached out to Thailand. Don't always think they mess with where I live. Oh, yeah. Okay. February is completely interesting. You seem really cool, though. Nice to talk to you. Peace. Yo, what's your favorite kind of music? Punk rock. Kiss death, punk rock, bands, time repair, super bass, or that kind of stuff. I don't know. They look to me, but I like 60s, bubble gum pump. To be firm, I was not think looking to be a kind of rad. What do you think about it? Super simple, great hug, perfect structure, everything in pop song is supposed to be. Oh, I get it. Now, will they see the appeal? Hell yeah. Then I'm gonna hop on this app, stuff to do. Likewise, we get out there. Never. Charlotte. Alright, uh. Happy Price, there. Thanks. Thank you, doing best to stay alive. Yeah, not a massive LGBTQI plus scene and hating scene follow. Huh. Dang, look at you, got all the letters right. I do try. Alright, so now ticket prices. Tickets. Guess when I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. This place looks great. Everything Colorado is in the 90s. All good things must come to an end, which means every pride decoration must come down. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table, our first pride together. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Happy Pride, Seattle! Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best pride ever. Literally ever. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four! Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. <laughs> Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah, one little oasis in the year, where you don't have to feel like it's you versus the world. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people. 
and recharging my entire soul. Word. All right, signs are dry. Let's go. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Honestly, Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Oh, I know. <laughs> Come on. It's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. Chloe, every time I look at this, I feel part of something. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same. A souvenir from the best cousin ever. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Genderqueer pride, bi pride, pan pride, lesbian pride, uh, bear pride, I think. I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride, just like everyone else here once was, and they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. Do what you need to do. What the hell am I doing here? of Haven. Do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you, going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls and your futures. And, of course, I'll update you on the saga of the record store Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame her savage heart. But first, you got a call from Mikey. But first, another track. I do not know why they have to just blare okay. the sound like stuff mode. breaking. Like that was eardrum bursting static for a second. But we're going to actually take a small break here. We're going to call it an episode. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section. See you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoy. And in the comment section, tell me what you think so far of Steph's story. Getting a little backstory on her. I think she seems like a cool character. I'd like to learn more. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day.